First of all, I'm not even sure why I'm recording this. I... I suppose it's to say thank you to my sister. Even if she isn't my... sister. She still is. D does that make sense? Uh, all I know is that she loved me, cared for me... Hell, she even raised me for the first 13 years of my life. Even now, I... I know she's watching me, guiding me. I swear, I, I see her sometimes in the corner of my eye. I feel the ghost of her lips on my forehead every night. Anyway, um, here it goes. As long as I can remember, my sister has always been there for me. Always helping me with homework, always being my shoulder to cry on. I, I remember every night. She tucked me into bed, kissed me on the forehead, and whispered, I love you, before leaving for her own room down the hall. I'd always say it back, always mean it too. My parents were distant, too busy to make a meal for their kids, but not to stay out every night, drinking. Whatever. I only ever needed Leia. One thing that always puzzled me, though, was my parents' relationship with Leia. They always seemed to avoid each other. But even if I closed my door, I get screamed at. I swear, I never saw them in the same room. When I'd ask, she'd always just laugh it off. We'd joke and say she was actually my parents in disguise, like Superman or something. Looking back, I... I realized she always said, Your parents... Never our parents. As the years passed, things changed. Not Leia, but pretty much everything else. Mom died. Meth overdose, which uh, <laughs> was a surprise to literally no one. And uh, Dad got worse until drunken idiot was practically his default. It all came to a head. The day on my 13th birthday. The entire day I watched as he disappeared behind his bottle. He didn't remember what day it was, of course. But Leia did. God, she always did. We spent the entire day holed up in her room watching crappy cable TV. I remember that I was confused at the time. Because she was acting really odd. Shifty even. Like she was hiding something. I like to think that she knew what was going to happen. That she had already made peace with it. God, I hope so. Anyway, I went downstairs and into the kitchen, grimacing at the realization that I'd actually have to interact with my father. More times than not, our interactions ended up with an argument. This time was no different. It was probably about something dumb, like debt or bills or something. God, it, it feels like it happened in slow motion. I, I say something sarcastic. He stands up. I can feel myself wilting under his gaze. He snarls, raises his hand, and he collapses. Breath shallow and hand reaching. It gets fuzzy at this point. The doctors said it was a heart attack, that it was painless, that he died instantly without suffering, but that, that wasn't why I was crying. I couldn't find Leia anywhere. I'd ran back to her room as soon as it happened, only to find the room empty. She was just gone. I never saw her again. At first, I felt abandoned. She left me to struggle for years, all on my own. But I think I get it now. I know she made a sacrifice that day. A sacrifice for me. I don't know what exactly happened. I don't know who or what she was. But I do know one thing. 
I know she loves me. And I love her too. <laughs>